questions inside a Metro Police interrogation room tonight as investigators want answers to at least two shootings that have left three people dead in less than a week. And tonight, one of those suspects has been linked to a kidnapping at gunpoint. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is in our five alert, center, five alert Center to break all this down. And Jason, this is a web of four brutal crimes. That's right. And investigators are looking to see if there may perhaps be even more. Here's what we know right now. Demontre Logsdon was arrested today outside this home on DB Todd Boulevard. Just minutes later, this man, LaCorey Lytle, surrendered inside the East Nashville Police Precinct. Both are wanted for questioning in two shootings that killed three people in the last week. Kendall Rice was killed while walking to work in Madison earlier last week, and Jamey Sarantonio and Bartley Teal were killed outside the Cobra Nashville Bar on Friday. Micah Howard was one of Teal's friends. If something needed to be done, he would get it done. And at the same time, he did it with empathy. Like, he genuinely cared about, you know, people. Police say Logsdon was also wanted for his role in a kidnapping, helping this man, Horace Williamson III, kidnap Williamson's girlfriend at gunpoint. And Williamson, who's also under arrest, is also accused of using a dog as bait to carry out a carjacking in Bellevue. I begged them not to kill me because I had a kid. Um, they replied with, we're not taking any lives tonight as long as you comply. Just the latest in a web of crimes that continues to grow wider as more details are released. Lee Teal's funeral service is scheduled for tomorrow, as well as Jamey Sarantonio's memorial service. We have not been, yet been provided any information on Kendall Rice's funeral arrangements. Now, in the middle of all of this, police are also looking into a shooting two weeks ago in Inglewood, where a woman was shot and paralyzed. Of course, we'll keep you on top of all of these developments. Live in the Five Alert Center tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.